Hey guys, Angel here, and today we're gonna do something super simple. We are gonna be doing fried rice. Hiya! Not any fried rice. We are gonna be doing egg fried rice because it has been brought to my attention. There are like, what, a million fried rice recipes on the internet right now, but I'm gonna be honest with you, too much. Y'all are doing too much with your fried rice. Different types of soy sauce, different types of seasoning, the precise measurement of the grain of rice. It's too complicated. Too complicated. Let's get it, let's go. Let's make some fried rice, shall we? So, for the first part of egg fried rice, you're gonna get a hot pan, and I know what you're all about to say. Hiya. Angela, that's not a wok, what the fuck? How are you gonna do the wok, hey? I do have a wok, but you know who doesn't have a wok? Normal Americans, so today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do fried rice the right way in a pan that most Americans have. Very difficult to get a wok hay in a normal gas stove range environment. There's absolutely no point in using a wok if you have a normal gas range. Unless you have an attachment for the wok, it defeats the purpose, guys. So just use a large pan with high enough walls so that you can toss, okay? Anyways, get your pan hot. We want it peeping hot. Preference wise, nonstick, stainless steel, whatever works for you. We got our eggs. The ratio for eggs is up to you. In my opinion, depending on how many people you're serving, I say two eggs per person. So in this case, I am serving myself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm serving a household, so I'm probably gonna do two, four, six, eight, ten eggs, about. So, gonna crack your eggs. Again, nothing fancy. The superior cooking utensil, the chopstick. You're gonna whisk away your eggs. All up some neutral oil, okay? Neutral, you don't need to be fancy. Please, please, please do not use olive oil. Please, like, thank you. Avocado oil, okay. High smoking point. No flavor. We're gonna go ahead and pour our eggs in. Just like that. Now we're not trying to cook this no French omelet Gordon Ramsay style. You just wanna flash cook these eggs until they're fully cooked. But you don't wanna like cook them where they're like burning. You want just a little bit of run to them. And at this consistency where there's a little bit of a glaze, a little bit of a gloss to it, there isn't any browning or coloring to these eggs, you're gonna take it out. Because remember, if you're afraid of undercooked eggs, we're cooking them again. A lot of green onions. We're gonna use the dark parts for garnish, and we're going to use the lighter parts for aromatics. If you don't have this, or if you don't have enough green onions to do this, you can definitely 100% use a regular white onion, but something about a green onion has a subtle onion flavor that doesn't overpower the fried rice, which we love. So we're gonna go ahead and dice up this portion of the green onions. Finely dice. Now to your cooled pan, like, emphasis, cool pan. We're gonna put some neutral oil down, enough to coat the bottom of the pan. We are gonna prematurely add our onions into it. Reason being is so that the onions have time to warm up and slowly meet the oil and slowly flavor the oil as it gets warmed. We're gonna go ahead and slowly saute these. And in the meantime, while they're slowly warming up, you're gonna get your shit ton of garlic ready. And at this point, I'm a big advocate, if you want to be lazy like me, you can buy the pre-crushed garlic from the grocery store. So we have evolved, you know, mutated into, instead of using pre-peeled garlic, I have now gotten pre-chopped garlic. Now to be fair, this is not the, the stuff you buy from the shelf. This is like freshly peeled, chopped garlic from the Asian market. Dessert it is, okay? So how much garlic you add, is however much you love the person you're cooking for, okay? Saute. This will take about like a minute or two. 
Once you start smelling onions and garlic, you know you can turn up the heat, okay? And so that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna keep going. Start of the show. Day old white rice. Day old white rice. I'm about to pull up some articles that piss me off right here. I don't know who those articles are targeting. Day old rice, two day old rice, three day old rice, a week old rice does not harm nobody, okay? Like, where is that coming from? We've been using old rice for centuries. The reason why you want to use day old rice, you can see the rice does not have any moisture to it. It's dry, it's lifeless. It's perfect. This is the perfect canvas to reheat with all of these flavorings that we're about to toss it in. So, we're gonna crank up the heat, okay? And we are just going to measure with your heart. Now, if you're not professional like me, depending on how many people you're serving, we are going to do, you know, a cup, cup of a half of rice per person. This is what I'll do. I'll look at it. I'll start kind of just moving it around, right? This is how you kind of start eyeballing things. Moving around. You see the ratio? to scallions and garlic to rice. And you're gonna think, hmm, does this look like it's too much scallions to garlic to rice? Because if it does, I'm gonna add more, see? That's how you start learning how to eyeball cooking, guys. I'm gonna take about, hmm, like a minute or two, just to get the rice warm, opening up its pores. Now it's time to add flavor to this rice. That's it. Th th this is all, this is all you need. Favorite, chicken bouillon seasoning, right? So we're gonna add a sprinkle of that. Three generous sprinkles. <laughs> Whatever soy sauce you have. Again, I don't like looking up what's the best soy sauce out there? What's the best quality soy sauce? I'm sure it exists. It does, but fried rice, there's no room for the best in fried rice. You just want what you got, okay? Just enough to season it, give it extra umami, give it an extra salty bit. In this case, for our pepper of choice, you can use regular ground black pepper. That's fine. But if you really want an extra fun kick, ground white pepper is where it's at. It adds an extra, I don't know what the flavor profile of white pepper is. It's like more, earthier and I think it complements fried rice a little better. MSG. Fight me. It's not gonna hurt you. I'm sure you're eating worse things than this. A kiss of MSG. Three kisses for good luck. It's okay to reintroduce your eggs. Go ahead and stir this around. Look at that. It's coming together quite nicely. And you're probably asking, <laughs> are you gonna add vegetables to your fried rice? The answer is no, because this is fried rice, not stir fry, okay? We're almost done. There we go. Nice. Let me just knock it a few times. And like that. Wow, it's like Din Tai Fong, but cheaper. and like to this video if you want more how many ingredients one two three four five six six ten ingredient less recipes like this or well just me i'll catch you guys in the next video take care bye